Well, hello friends. Welcome to another studio vlog. I've got my reading glasses on because I'm I'm cutting up close. Well, trimming the corners up close. I can see better with my reading glasses on. But um yep. I have let me see. Made a new illustration of Bad Bunny. This is the story behind Bad Bunny, but first let me welcome you to another vlog. Um, as you can see, I am working on a new illustration, and really it's not a new illustration to me. I've been working on this illustration for about 10 years now. And it's called Bad Bunny, and it's about a, a bunny who's getting into the carrot garden and eating all the carrots. Bad bunny. Just making sure my son's not watching me because he'll watch me without being saying anything. Anyway, um, so Bad Bunny, the story behind Bad Bunny is I saw um, some cupcakes uh, with an illustration of a bunny on top of them back uh, about 10 years ago and it was uh, for Easter. And I thought, oh my goodness, that is so adorable because it showed just the same thing, you know. His hiney, his bum, with his, his two back feet. And uh, you don't see anything else because you know he's digging into the garden and getting some more carrots out. So um, I decided to make my own and I stepped it up another notch. And so uh, this is how I made my Bad Bunny cupcakes and I will post a picture of it. Um, from my blog. Um, some of you may know I had a food blog a decade ago and um, it's very amateur, very... Um, I'll, I'll leave a link to it as well if you want to go see it. It's still up under Blogger. But um, the cupcakes were made out of chocolate um, and so um, for the... what made... what I made to make it look like soil was um, crumpled up Oreo, Oreo cookies. Um, I took out the middle, and I may have eaten some of them, but I took out the middle of an Oreo cookie, like maybe five, ten of them, and then I, I crunched up the chocolate cookie part, and it looks like dirt. So I, um, at, when I um, spread some a thin layer of icing on the cupcake, I then sprinkled on uh, the the Oreo cookie crumbles that made it look like dirt. I then took some uh, a small packet of white coconut shredded coconut and I tinted it with a uh, green coloring just slightly made it look like a, f a spring green not a dark green so um, and then I sprinkled the coconut grass on top of uh, the soil and then I sprinkled on some more um, Oreo crumbled soil and then um, instead of using paper picture to put on top of the cupcake I stepped it up another notch and made the bunny with fondant so I painted his coat blue and I painted his paws pink and uh, I just made two feet, a body and a tail and stuck it all together and then stuck the whole thing on top of the cupcake, on top of the grass, on top of the soil and it looked really cute. And one thing that I found, um, I was I remember literally walking through the Wilton Isle there in Michaels and they had a cupcake wrap that looked like a fence, like a picket fence, a white picket fence. And I'm like, oh my goodness, those will look good with my Bad Bunny cupcakes. So um, I used that to surround, to, to put around the cupcake. So it, they were really, really adorable. Wait till you see them. Um, uh, another thing I did make with the fondant were the carrots. So what I did was I rolled, I, I, I rolled some fondant along with some orange food coloring 
and um, and then I rolled out the fondant into a very thin strip. Um, I kept it rolled, and then I would cut it in several uh, pieces, probably ten pieces, if I made a twelve inch um, size roll. Um, and then I would just use my fingers to roll the tip and make it look like a carrot. So it was an orange fondant, piece of fondant, and uh, when I rolled the tip, it made it look like a carrot. And then I used curly, was it curly parsley or just uh, Italian parsley? I can't remember. Um, for the for the greenery, and um, it just they just came out so perfect, so cute. Um, I had so much fun making them. There was a. No, I think I made, did make them another time, but it did take a lot of work. And um, um, probably, I remember it was a Saturday, and um, it was for, before Easter, so I made them for Easter. And um, um, probably made about a dozen to about 15. So it, it kept me pretty busy that Saturday, but I had so much fun. So much fun making them. So that's the story behind Bad Bunny. So now that Easter is coming up uh, upon us in another two months, it's in April this year, um, but so is spring. Spring comes sooner. Spring is coming next month, and the calendar does still say that it's winter out. Today in Virginia, it's going to be in the upper 50s, and tomorrow they say it's going to be near 70, which is wonderful. Just gets us so excited for spring and the nice smell of soil and flowers and all that comes with spring. Um, so um, I'm getting these Bad Bunny uh, stickers ready uh, in my shop. So by the time you watch this part, this vlog, um, I'll, I'll have them posted up in my, in my uh, Etsy shop. So I'm going to put a five in a packet and um, offer free shipping. So um, if you want some, I will be glad to send them out to you. Just place your order. I'm going to go ahead and show you some samples of things that I made with them. Um, these are printed on glossy paper. Um, you can still you can write on it. It's writable. Not waterproof though. Um, but you can put these on stationery, on greeting cards, on um, embellishing envelope, the outside of envelopes. Uh, when you get ready to mail out your um, spring correspondence. This doesn't have to be just for Easter, but it can also be for springtime. So, um, I am getting to the bottom of my pile. Uh, I've made plenty of these to offer. And um, I think rounding out the corners just makes it look so, so professional. I don't know. Just makes it, just gives it a good look. I don't know if that's focused. I can't tell, is it? Yeah, it is. But, um... I think they look so much better with the rounded edge and my um, my edge cutter cor or corner cutter here has three different sizes so I picked the smallest one. These um, are like two and a half by two and a half so I picked the smallest uh, corner cut. So that's how they look. But let me show you. What else I made with them? Here's some samples. Here's a packing envelope. And you can put it on the corner, the bottom of any envelope, just to dress it up. And I also, not, I'm not a calligraphist. Uh, my, uh, I used my Tombow double tip marker to write that. Let's see if I can see that. 
So I made a card, an Easter card. So I think it looks really good up against the white card. Came out really cute. You can make your own Easter cards if you want. And then this one's my favorite. I stuck a sticker in the middle of the card and then I wrote, don't be a bad bunny. And then on the inside it says, save, save me some carrots. And then I drew some carrots around it. So it can be a fun spring card you can send to your friends. I see my battery's dying. It's telling me it's going to die. So, But anyway, um, that's what we're doing in the vlog today. I'll be showing you. And um, as you can see, I'm excited for spring, dressed for spring. Come on, spring. We're all ready, aren't we? So enjoy the vlog. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up.
So yes, my camera cut off, so I was in the middle of telling you all to please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget the links below um, to my vlog or to my old food blog with a B, blog. Um, my um, link to the Bad Bunny cupcakes that I made and then also uh, to my Etsy shop where you can buy these uh, Bad Bunny stickers. So um, I need to get ready to head out and then come back and work on editing this uh, vlog and getting it uh, published so that um, I've got a busy weekend and I'm going to go out of town and go visit the grandkids and we're going to um, go to a, a women's basketball game at Liberty University, take the kids to do that. Um, I'm also going to be spending time with my daughter. I'm excited about that. Get to spend time with her because I haven't really uh, spent time with her since Christmas and before that when I moved away from the town. So I'm also going to be going to the same town where uh, my, my new apartment is. It's a new construction and that's why it's been delayed uh, to move into. Um, I was supposed to move into it on January 15th and then they moved it to February 1st and then they moved it to March 1st. March 1st is less than two weeks away. And we got an email that they're now starting to put in appliances. So all the cabinet cabinetry is in, the electricity is up, um, the bathtubs and sinks are put in, installed, and as well as the flooring. So. Um, now, uh, I think all they have left to do is the appliances, right? So I'm going to go try to take a sneak peek of it um, and while I'm there in town. And I'm going to try to take you all with me if I'm able to. So i um, excited about that. So, okay, we got to get going. Thanks again. Love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.